Here we go. You did good. Looks beautiful. This whole thing is just lovely. Get away. I'm so tired of being Yep. You real? In case you're standing at home or if you're at home, might as well stand too. Please be seated, everybody. <sighs> well, here we are. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Baron Cannon. Um, Maggie and I were grad students together at Santa Clara. Um, and of course, since wherever Maggie goes, Matt dutifully follows. Matt and I have been uh, friends ever since as well. Uh, I want to start by thanking Maggie and Matt for giving me this honor. I am humbled that you guys have asked to lead me through your public profession of love. And hopefully I, you won't regret it. <clears throat> <laughs> so welcome everyone. We're gathered here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Matt and Maggie. We're not here to, uh, to uh, recognize the start of a relationship, however. We're here to recognize the bond that already exists. Matt and Maggie have been committing themselves to one another for going on 13 years now. So um, we've come together to bear witness to the bond that has grown between them. To be fair, pinning down just how long they've been together uh, or been committing themselves to one another is somewhat difficult to define, uh, in part because of Matt's aversion to, to conversations about commitment and children. Um, there was even a pool up in his apartment on a whiteboard for how likely the roommates were to get married uh, and have children, and even uh, for how long uh, they've been living together. Um, it, you know, Matt, it was least likely to uh, be married and have children. Um, you know, it's funny, even for how long they've been living together, we were actually talking about this, we couldn't quite s settle on how long they've been living together. Um, so we kind of settled on the, on the moment of Maggie saying to Matt, you realize I live here now, right? Well, today they will affirm, affirm this bond formally. I know that while Matt and Maggie are excited to mark their transition to husband and wife with this celebration of love, what I think is the most beautiful thing about this moment is the fact that world events have brought us to focus on these essentials. Tragedy and strife have a way of focusing our gaze onto the most important things in our lives. World events have literally forced us to celebrate this union and this love in this way. No crazy frills, no super expensive like haul, no over the top cake, um, even this speech I just finished moments before we started. Um, just you two, your family, Sophie, in the backyard of the home in which you've been making your lives together. So what a truly special day it is. When I consider all of us who are gathered here, we must admit that we are all unique creatures. But despite all the differences, love is what we all share. It's the great unifier, our one universal truth, that no matter who we are, where we've come from, what we know, what we believe, we know this one thing, that love is what we're doing right. That's why you're both standing up here. That's why we've all come to watch you stand up here. We have all loved in our lifetimes, and in this moment, we're reminded that the ability to love is the very best part of our humanity. And indeed, trying to describe love is one of our favorite pastimes. We use the words we have to write stories and poems and songs about love. And even though we describe love in different ways, even though love can look different from one person to the next, we all know it when we see it. 
and we see it here. You know, as I thought about my two friends, I found myself reflecting on the process of beginning to love someone. We think we understand love, but when we sit with a friend describing that dreamy someone that we just met, a courteous charmer, a brawny body and soul, we're overcome with something wondrous. It's a special kind of love, isn't it? It's that those moments of, what, be becoming into love? No, that, that's not the right way to say it. There has to be a better one. You know, giving love or accepting love, and of course those aren't great because they're obviously one-sided, right? Um, becoming loving doesn't work either, right? It's, it's like a change of character. Making love is close, but definitely different, right? Crowbar, separation, those are different things. But upon reflection, nothing quite describes that beautiful, wonderful, fantastic experience than falling in love. Even as the king of rock and roll attests, we can't help it when we do it. We feel out of control, and it is indeed a loss of control when we fall in love. Abandoning, giving, committing yourself to one another, love is surrendering yourself to the other. And it feels like we're out of control because it's terribly risky. Loving. And yet one could also argue that it is just as great of a risk as any other fundamental thing in our lives. The moment when we take a step, we don't know that the ground won't give out from under our feet. When we leave our house, when we get into our cars, what an act of faith. We just don't know what's going to happen. So we, like reasonable people, try to take precautions, right? We, we lock our door, we put on our seatbelt. But love, that's truly crazy. Perhaps the craziest, most insane thing we do, but it's also the most beautiful and the most worthwhile. So by all means, I say, Geronimo. Matt and Maggie marriage symbolizes the intimate sharing of two lives. It's the development of balanced relationship that is continually growing and changing. Acceptance of each other's differences and appreciation of each other's individuality creates an atmosphere of understanding and trust where not only joys and successes, but disappointments and sorrows can be shared. Deep knowledge of each other's feelings can only develop fully with patience, genuine caring, and respect. And this understanding of each other can be the greatest and most fulfilling experience of your lives. No other human ties are more tender and no other vows more important than these that you are about to now assume. And if you both keep these vows, your home will be happy and full of joy. And so now the contract of marriage is most solemn and it is not to be taken in too lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. And as such, Matt and Maggie have written their own vows for one another, and they will now pronounce them aloud to one another, starting with Maggie. Our love is magic. When I was little, all I wanted was for magic of some kind to be real. I wanted to be a witch or a mermaid or a fairy. <laughs> I wanted to be something more because I thought this world was just a little dull. With you, I've had the realization that magic is very much real. That it comes in the form of your love and what we've been able to build and create. Within the love and the magic that we have created, I believe our love is strongest when filled with laughter. What brings me the greatest joy is when I get to make you laugh and just be weird. <laughs> I honestly believe that you and I are at our best and our strongest when we are laughing together, whether it's on the couch, in the kitchen, while walking the dog on the street corner, making the neighbors think we're totally bizarre, <laughs> or anywhere else in the world. You make me smile every day simply by being yourself and by loving me. I look forward to laughing and growing old with you more than you know. The prospect of getting to be by your side as your wife. As we get older and even weirder, hopefully more embarrassing. 
that leaves me overflowing with joy. <laughs> As we live out this magical reality that we create together, I promise to always to work towards our happiness. I promise to have faith and trust in you because you've shown time and again that you always, always have our best interests at heart. I'm sorry. I promise to embrace our weirdness and let it shine. I promise to continue to grow to be the best person, but also the best partner I can be. I promise to be by your side and support you in all that you hope to achieve. And I promise you all this and so much more because I love you every day of my life. And now Matt. <sighs> Maggie, I am so proud today to become your husband. After more than a decade, 13 years, I guess almost to be exact, laughing together, seeing the world together, raising our perfect little pup together, I'm still to this day just in absolute awe of you. You're smart, you're beautiful, you're thoughtful, and you are so perfectly weird. <laughs> Just like me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I love seeing you smile every day, especially when I'm the one that gets to put it there. I love hearing your laugh, especially the evil little laugh that you make that usually comes at my expense. <laughs> Most of all, I love that you put absolutely everything you have into us. Your heart your soul, your trust, and your infectious, absolutely silly spirit. All without hesitation. All into us in our little family, which obviously includes the dog. I promise that going forward, in every step of the way, that I will do everything I can to put my all into us, just like you have. I promise to make you laugh, either with me or at me, uh, you know, as much as possible, whichever comes first. I promise to dance with you in the kitchen, and I promise to do ironic yoga with you when you least expect it. <laughs> I promise to shoulder any challenges we face and to celebrate all of our victories similarly together. Lastly, and most importantly, I promise to annoy you every single day because honestly that's how I show my love and let's be real nobody's perfect I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you showing you all the ways that I couldn't put into words now just how much I care and love you and just how excited I am to grow up together with you and cranky too <laughs> Matt and Maggie, since it's your intention to enter into marriage, please join your hands and declare your consent before this community. Maggie, to you first. Do you, Lauren Elsbeth Mitchell, take him, Matthew Sandoval, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish? I very much do. Now, Matt, do you, Matthew Sandoval, take her, Lauren Ellsworth Mitchell, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish? Absolutely, I do. Good. All right, I have the rings. At least I think I do. All right, Maggie, you first. There you go. 
Maggie, place and hold the ring on the ring finger of Matt's left hand. Maggie, may this ring you give him be a token and pledge of your constant faith and enduring love. Maggie, repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. <laughs> All right, Matt. Place and hold the ring on Maggie's left hand on her ring finger. Matt, may this ring you give her be a token and pledge of your constant faith and enduring love. Matt, repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. All right, now that you have joined yourselves in solemn matrimony, may you strive all the days of your lives to meet this commitment with the same love and devotion that you now possess. So by the power of the, uh, by, uh, by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Universal Life Church, I now pronounce you hu uh, husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Ladies and gentlemen, may I now present for the first time Matt and Maggie Sandoval. Is there outro music? Nope, that's no, it. Come on. Yeah! Oh, thank you. Oh, you did an amazing job raising a great son. He's a freaking great job, man. Thank you. We I did, appreciate that. We? Oh, yeah, you did. Rocked it. You know, Knocked it out of the park. A few moments for <laughs> it was it was touch and go there for a hot second. Our little boy. I know. <laughs> thank you. That's a little more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, officially. Oh, Baron, we need you to sign the marriage license before you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. In fact, um, yes, yes, all of that stuff will be done in due time. <laughs> Oh, no, you did an amazing job saying those, like, three words. <laughs> Thank you. And, and I didn't say it before, but you look amazing, dude. The dress and everything is just fantastic. Thank you. You did perfect. Why we asked you. Yeah. No, I appreciate it. Do you want to say anything to the audience here? Do you? Oh, yeah. Um, in fact, here, do you want to make sure that it's... Uh, let's make sure that this is not unmuted, or not muted. And... Oh, thank you. Well, that was the thing is, is that I think I decided to no, move it in for a little bit. That's green. That's green. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to yeah. take this and you can say something else? Hold on, everyone who's still watching. They have some things to say. Or take it somewhere so we can. you go. Sorry for the sound stuff. There we go. I don't know, stay here. I don't know how close we are, if they can even see us. But, Hi guys! Uh, um, we love you all, and we would have loved to celebrate with you, but we had to do this today. Um, it's been long enough. It's been long enough, and it was right. And well, we couldn't have many of our grandparents here, or any of our grandparents here, actually, under the current circumstances. Um, Having you guys available through the camera and live stream um, allowed my grandfather to watch and many, many wonderful family members and friends. Um, and that means the world to, to me and my family. Um, so the fact that you get to be a part of that is terrific. And today would have been my grandma Pat's um, 92nd birthday. No. 
90. No, it would have been 80. Damn it. Yeah. Whoops. 84. 84. 84. 84. 84. Um, yeah, she probably would have forgotten her birthday anyway. Um, but yeah, so um, doing this today meant a lot to us. Um, yeah, and we get to do it a second round again next year, hopefully, when things kind of level out a little bit. So ideally, we can have all the you know normal stuff that we were kind of looking forward to this time and didn't get a chance to get. So you know, thank you for all the support, the the people that are helping with the stream right now. God, I hope it's working, and we're not just talking to a blank camera. And uh, and uh, you know, to all the well wishers, you know, we we appreciate all the love and support you guys have given us all 13 years. It's been noted. Um, so <laughs> so thank you. It's kind of a long time. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We love you guys. Thank you. Yeah.